Yeah, I know this is silence right now. I'm pissed. I mean, I'm seriously pissed at this point on here. I don't care if Facebook yanks my ass or even YouTube at this point on here. What I have, the congressman has sworn to this. Protect and serve the United States Constitution, turns around and backstabs every damn voter who got his ass in there just to serve or be a theoretical congressman and serving in Congress. He's now going against the U.S. Constitution by being party of a civil war action, interfering with another state's election process is prelude to a civil war. Texas launched, the Texas AG launched a lawsuit, a frivolous lawsuit, in order to overturn several states, just so the orange gas bag called Donald J. Trump would stay in office when the Electoral College has not even have a chance to certify anything of what was legitimate and what was not. But the lawsuit claims that the COVID had changed everything else, and therefore the votes, the millions of voters out there who voted for President-elect Joe Biden to get into office was null and void. And therefore, the other states should be counted as Donald Trump states. Trump will do anything to continue his power. And he's doing it by breaking the law. And allowing for over 106 and counting Trumpsters. I don't call them GOP anymore. I don't call them Republicans. They're Trumpsters. To follow in this lunacy in Congress supporting this action. Not to mention a dozen states. Interfering with another state's election process is against federal law. Otherwise, this whole country still would have been anarchy when it was still created and we would never have the U.S. Constitution going on. We would still have the House of... Actually, we would still have the Articles of Confederation and we would never have what we call the country that we have right now. The Civil War would still be going on and on. We would never have anything we have. No civil rights. No human rights. No women's rights. No rights at all. Just what the states would declare and interfere with everyone else. Might as well be their own individual countries. Their own individual sovereignty. It destroys the foundation of what our government was supposed to be, unified. It's one thing to have differences of opinions. And we welcome that. Because the country was supposed to be built upon differences of opinions, but we come down to common law and common belief. But not when one state says the other four states can't have what they have. Fair elections. Even because of a damn disease, the states had to do whatever they could. They had their own power to do so. But Texas has drawn the line. My own congressman, Kevin McCarthy, who I spit upon, representative of the Kern County area of California, declared along with the other representatives that he supports this lawsuit. He's just as much a traitor to the Constitution as he is to the people, except the people still love him. As far as I'm concerned, they're all freaking traitors. Every last one of them. Democracy, you don't screw around with. You don't screw around with the U.S. Constitution. The Constitution didn't give states powers to go after each other. Show that to me in any amendment or U.S. law that we have that states have the right to interfere with another state's election process. There never has been. Never a precedent until now. And we did have a president attacking everything that made our country the way it was. 
And now it is, it's practically being unraveled because we have greed and we got power corrupted assholes in office. I have the First Amendment right to say this. But I know in the corporate world, regarding our social media platforms, they may or may not approve of this. So be it. I am making it here and known beyond observations at this point that the United States is heading into a civil war. The last one back in 1860 through 1864 we never learned a damn thing after that because we're continuing right now and it's not because of slavery. It's still the state's rights versus the Union. It's civil rights being affected as it was back then. We have traitors. And I will not support or defend traitors. I will not. They have no rights. They've lost them. Yeah, I'm angry. I'm angry for making this letter. I'm angry for the actions being taken at this point over here. We had no control over the damn COVID, but we should have. Every last one of us had control over our own bodies in order to stop the spread of the disease, but it still continues on. And with denial as it is, we deserve our country to fall apart. We deserve no country. We can't act like Americans. We cannot act like a unified, unified people at this point. Regardless of differences that we have regarding culture, or religion, or sex, or anything. We have made our ancestors upset with us. And we should have. If we're going to be heading into a civil war, you better make sure which side that you're on. Be careful that your conscience is clear and your intent is true. Because after the war is over, and unfortunately it's coming, because we brought it on ourselves, we each are held accountable and transparent. We are each responsible for the actions and inactions. We are each held liable, regardless. May God help us. May God help the United States of America. Because as far as I'm concerned, we just lost it. We lost everything. 